Uh, no, I don't want live split. I'm organizing th everything very terribly. Hello, everybody. I hope that I am actually live. Am I live? Please tell me I'm live. Is that good? Hello, everybody. I oh, God, please shut up. Hello, greetings and salutations, everybody. Uh, I hear you twice? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a consequence of some other stuff. Um, okay, I think we're good. Kyle, don't spend too much time on character creation? Don't worry, we're usually out of character creation really fast. Welcome in, Maldwin! Gwen, listen. I have, I have an excuse, and my excuse is, I need you to take a shower. <laughs> Um, Cole, welcome in. Um, Snyder, good evening from Germany. Well, good evening to Germany. Albatross, how you doing? Face cam, um, not doing face cam on these runs, only because, um, I am trying to keep the footage as clean as possible for the video, but I'll do you a favor, all right? I'll do you a quick favor. How you doing? That's my, that's my neck. Here you go. Wait, hold on. What's up? How you doing? Greetings and salutations. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna turn on the sign. Greetings and salutations. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, oh god, my camera is so wiggly. There we go. Apocalypse, how you doing, Ink Cat? Saw the new BNDS1 video. Congrats on having a skip named after you. The weekend skip! I remember. So, funny story about that. Um, I was actually playing Lethal Company with friends, and um, one of my one of my mods is a really big BN uh, fan. And he was watching the video and he goes, holy crap, I just heard your voice. I was like, what? I'm in a BN video? Because I didn't even know about it at that point. And so uh, we just got on and it was fun. Oh, I forgot to tell the Discord we're live. Oh, crap. Oh, bollocks. Oh, poo-poo and pee-pees. Uh, at uh, every one, we are live. Yes. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Gorgeous even. Okay, so... Oh, I just realized I'm staring at my own stream. And I'm not actually have the game open on my monitor. Hold on. I am so. Oh, don't worry, we beat it. He's going, uh, we know for a fact he's gonna be making an Elden Ring video. We, we are actually sure of that at this point. You're not doing skips, or are you skipping to get certain items? Uh, we are kind of doing skips, but nothing like that'll skip content, if that makes sense. So we're not doing uh, Sen's Gate skip. We're still killing uh, everything. We're doing all bosses, all that good stuff. Okay, so if you guys weren't here for the last stream, um, last stream we had the Bandit Run. Uh, about as easy as I expected it to be, honestly. Um, very easy run. Fastest time we've had so far. Not that we're exactly racing at all, but it was the fastest time. Um, that being said, I'm going to turn the game audio down just a tad. I don't know if it needs to, but it feels like it in my ears. I apologize, by the way, if any of the audio is off. Uh, I never readjusted the audio. It's still set for... Um, and this will make some people in the chat very happy. It's still set for Dark Souls 3. So, that's a very different game, so I haven't had time to, like, fine-tune it. Um, but yeah. Tell the fight. tell the beautiful people who Uno is. Okay, yeah, so Uno, um, this is a character that we had. Uh, I had a race with some of my mods, um, and our friends. And, um, they were like, we can't beat Kyle in a normal race, so what's the stipulation gonna be? So they did just any percent run, and I had to beat the game all bosses with only one hand on the controller. Um, I came in second place, which was cool. Um, so yeah, that's my one-handed all bosses time right there is three hours and 20 minutes. Anyways, uh, we got to get a new run going, which means, unfortunately, it is time for Stabs McCoy to be banished to the Shadow Realm. In the meantime, um, class is the hunter, is where we're going today. 
Yes, I, there will be a video ranking all of them at the very end. That is the end goal, is to make a video out of all of these runs. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let me hit record. Alrighty, chat, you know the deal. Funniest name is the character's name. Most entertaining name. Go. Emma! Hello. Thompson? Hunter Thompson? Gunther? Aragorn, but bad f Ruby Rose. Ooh. Biden. That's clever. Oh, whoa, pet lover. Gather. Hunter Gather. Bo Dallas. Chewbacca. Chewy. Little Bo Peep. Green Arrow. Oliver Queen. Or William Tell. Gother? Ooh, Gother is a good one. Bingle Bonkus. Mike Space Hunt. Hmm. Ichi go to the polls. <laughs> Narrow. Bo Diddley. Goth. Little Bow Bow Wow. Or Bow Wow. Gone. Gone. Throbbing Hood. <laughs> Ichi go to the polls has my vote. You know what? Sure, why not? I'm 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 in a I'm in a I'm in a bleach mood today, why not? That's all one word. Well, uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's the name. That's, uh, that, <laughs> uh, I love this. Um, which one do you use the most, Ichigo? Hold on, wait, it'll be easier if I do this. I'm not actually trying to make Ichigo the <laughs> Ichigo with a receding hairline. Yeah, that's what we want. Is there orange? I don't even think there's an orange option. There's dark red. Alright, this is <laughs> This is Ichigo to the polls. <laughs> that's our that's our lovely, beautiful character. He's number one. <laughs> Ichi goes to Poland, BB. Oh my god. Alrighty, that's uh that's what we're running with. Uh did I need anything else? I do not. Am I recording? I am recording. Beautiful. So, we have a lot of people out here already, by the way. I want to thank you guys so much for that. Um also wanna say that while we're doing just really easy asylum stuff. Um, wanted to say that, uh, a couple days ago, we put out our first non-souls challenge, and if you haven't watched it yet, highly can recommend, um, but that's not really what I'm here to say. What I'm really here to say is the support y'all have given that video is absolutely incredible. Like, the like-to-view ratio is amazing. Um, the comments have been so incredibly nice. Um, it, you guys have just really supported that run with everything, and I just have to say a huge thank you, because being able to kind of spread my wings and tackle games that are more than just Souls, even though I'll always come back to Souls, this will always be home, this will always be the center of the channel, but being able to spread out and do other games like that takes so much pressure off of me and lets me explore so many fun options. Um, so just really thank you guys. And if you haven't watched it yet, it was Can You Be XCOM Enemy Within with only pistols. And it was a very fun run. And, uh, people have been telling me they've been enjoying it a lot. So, uh, potentially after the stream or if you're watching the VOD, maybe, uh, go give it a look if you have any interest in just having a good video. 
But yes, I am very super thankful on the support you guys have given that video. It was a good video. Challenge was actually so good. One of my favorite challenge videos in a long time. I really appreciate that. A uh, hunter does not get a helmet, so we are without a helmet this whole run. Also, short sword still, well, the one shot the last one. Got me to go back and replay XCOM? I'm very glad. Um, and I know people have been asking for it, so I figured that I've said it before, and if you've kept track of streams, you probably already know this. But I figured I would go ahead and just say this now, real nice and early on in the stream. That the next video that will be coming out, I hope you guys are looking forward to it, is going to be This is Dark Souls 3. And if you don't know what This is means, uh, essentially the entire Dark Souls 3 playthrough will be uploaded in one video coming up. So if those of you have been looking forward to Dark Souls 3 or enjoying the playthrough, um, I'm still recording. I have to say I am done with one of the DLCs and I'm currently on the second one. Um, and without spoiling too much, I still have to sort through my feelings, but I may have discovered uh, my new favorite boss in all of Dark Souls the Dark Souls trilogy. That's all I'm going to say. So look forward to it. But I won't give too much away on the uh, on the Dark Souls 3 stuff because Dark Souls 3, I'll, I'll let the video speak for itself when it comes out. Will you do bow only? Probably not for this particular challenge, quote unquote challenge, because doing this with just the short bow would be quite the experience. It would probably take longer than the uh, than one stream. I don't know. It is the short bow. Bows are strong, but but we are going to uh, we are going to kill some bosses with only a bow. At least one of them, potentially two or three. That video is going to be over ten hours long. Actually, it's not going to be as long as you might think. Um, I managed to condense the Hollow Knight playthrough, which was about 50 hours long, into about 3 hours of video. So, I'm expecting the Dark Souls 3 video will probably be about 2 or 3 hours as well. When do we get Kingdom Hearts Challenge runs? Um, I've got some other games I need to run first, but I do want to do something Kingdom Hearts eventually. Um, which, by the way... By the way, there is another non-Souls game that I'm working on, and to those who might be astute, there is a secret I have hidden in the XCOM video that will actually tell you what one of the next videos I'm working on is that I've kept in my back pocket. So... If you're if you're up for a little little scavenger hunt, there is a uh, there is a secret hidden in the XCOM video. It's not that hard to find, but I've noticed that nobody has said anything about it yet. So we'll see what happens. Just started Kingdom Hearts these past weeks. Almost finished with three. Three is the only one I've not beaten. Uh, because when it came out, I had the ending spoiled for me when I'd been waiting for it since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. And I got so mad that I'd never played it again. <laughs> but I do need to play through it. Well, I know what I'm rewatching after this stream. Hey. I already saw it. I'm keeping it a secret. Ooh. Is there another? You followed me, huh? Three is... 
So, 3 is a good game from what I played. Um, I think the thing about Kingdom Hearts 3 is... I don't like the Disney attraction abilities. I think they kind of take you out of the gameplay. Other than that, I like them, though. It's Pokemon. He's getting into Pokemon challenges. Funny enough, there was a time a while ago when I was recording a Pokemon challenge. I just never finished it. Um, but Pokemon would be fun. <laughs> I was never able to like the combat in Kingdom Hearts. Eh, that's all right. There's the combat in Kingdom Hearts really doesn't shine until you play it on the biggest difficulties, but the difficulties get really brutal later on. So what are the rules for this run? So, welcome to uh, the starting classes series. Uh, basically, we are... Everything you see that's on the character right now... Well, this character is a bad example because he also has the bow. But everything that the character starts with in the starting screen, that is our build for the entire run. I am still allowed to level. I am still allowed to upgrade. But this is essentially just a big comparison between all the starting classes. HGW. <laughs> There's a similar game to Dark Souls. <laughs> you might like called Bloodborne. <laughs> Huh. I'll I'll have to check it out. Interesting. You said it's called Bloodborne? Interesting. Is is it made by the same people per chance? That would be really cool. I, I didn't know if these creators ever did anything else. Like I know they tried that indie game called Elden Ring, but Yeah, you bleed when you're born. Oh, that's that's an interesting fact. I didn't know that. I've never been born before. Okay, start is right about here. Oh, there's also a Samurai Souls game? That sounds neat. Hey, Ragnar. How you doing? Great X? Oh my god. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing that? I hate this game. First it was the ghost blade. I hate this game so much. You're welcome. Didn't Lemon say he would do an ER vid after the final goal was met in the charity stream? Yes, yes he did. Um, so as far as I'm aware, Lemon is going to be doing the firebombs run for Elden Ring. Um, I know he's not looking forward to it, at least from what I've been told. Um, but hey, maybe he'll have fun. Maybe he will. A challenge you could try in Dark Souls 1, if you want to stick to this, is killing all the bosses in one attack. Yeah, nobody's ever done it before, actually. Um, never been done before. Um, especially not recently. Um, maybe, maybe I can do that, you know? Maybe one-shot all the bosses. Maybe I could even try one-shotting that at a low level. That could be fun. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Damn it. That was really cool. No, but I do I do have a challenge. Okay. Can I can I be completely honest with you, chat? 
Like, can I be dead honest? Like, there's... There's something that I have to get off my chest. And I am terrified of this. Alright, like, one of my most genuine fears that I've had recently. Alright, so... Chat. We all... We all know who Meaty Jesus is, right? He's, uh... He's that... He's one of the other people in, like, the Challenge Runner group. He's made some really fun videos. I have never seen that man four hit combo before. That is interesting. Um I have I don't think I've ever seen the four hit combo. Interesting. Um So, the thing about Meaty Jesus, right? So, basically, I have this idea for a run I've been routing, right? It's a really cool run. When I actually put it together, it's going to take forever to make. I think you guys are going to love this run, right? It's Dark Souls 1 run. It's going to be super fun and super intense as well. All right. Here's what I'm afraid of. Meaty Jesus has confirmed, I'm pretty sure, that he's working on a Dark Souls 1 run. Now, why am I afraid? Here's the thing. All the time, I'll come up with a run and, like, I'll go to see if it's ever been done before. Like, four times. Meaty has done it. That man owns the same brain cells as me. And I'm like, man, I'm so excited for this. I am terrified that whatever he's cooking is just the run I have I just thought of. I am terrified of him. And if he does it, I'm not even going to be mad. Like, this is not like a, Meaty, you better not do my run. No, if he does it, like, good on him. I'm just saying, I am terrified that it's going to happen again. <laughs> It'll look really funny. Oh, I'm not going to say it out loud. Because it's it's a it's going to be a run. But I am I am ter listen, Meaty Jesus possesses a power over me. That I can't even begin to explain to you. He. He lives in my head. It It's. Mm. Is it the trading only run? It is not the trading only run. Although trading only did kind of help me think of it. Now you got me excited for the future. Oh, it's one of the runs I've been most excited for Dark Souls 1 in a long time. I think you guys are really going to like it. You want to hear a joke? Sure. Did I pick up the black firebombs, by the way? I did. Cool. Okay, so <coughs> something we do have to talk about, chat is this is the first run where we are playing a class that has multiple types of weapons. Um, so we have the short bow and we have standard arrows. Um, for the sake of making this equal with the spell casting runs, the only arrow type we are allowed to use is standard arrows. So I will be using standard arrows for the whole run. Just wanted to let y'all know that that is one of the uh, runs to keep rules of this run to keep it consistent with everything else. Kyle, you are meaty Jesus. Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them that I have a channel where I'm secretly actually funny. Standard arrows do sound like a bad idea. They're not the worst thing on the planet. They're they're better than you think they would. 
Do you know how heavy a chili pepper it is? Just give it away, give it away, give it away now. Okay, I think I saw a dream. Is this the randomized D&D run? I was just focusing on multiple things. I am killing this guy, by the way, because I want the Titanite Shard, because... Yeah! Boop. I don't know why I'm just not running past this guy, but yeah, would have been cool for a Titanite Shard. Here we go around this guy. And up. But I am extremely tired and good luck on the run. You know what, Telebi? You have a great sleep and I'll let you know the run will be here even when you wake up. There will be a VOD waiting for you. Nice, fresh, and ready. That did not hit the tail, apparently. Hello? Can I hit the tail, please? Thank you. Okay, well, it's a bit close to the other side, but that's fine. That just means it's optimal. Does it run slightly quicker or am I delusional? Um, I think it might just be DS1. As weird as that might sound. Yeah, it looks like everything on my end is going well, so it's probably just a... Probably just a DS1 thing. Uh, I already picked up... Yeah, I just want the uh, gesture. Maybe I'll get... Nah, I, I should keep all of my uh, souls here. Okay, where are my homeward bones? Change order. Bonk, bonk. There we go. You can live through that jump? You absolutely can. I'm in class and I have my AirPods in. Guys, I can't hear you over the... Okay. Whatever, Xbox. Um, okay, let's see. So I'm going to need... Um, at 10. Got to plan this in a fun way. Let's go for... Hmm... I have a plan. We'll do that. We'll do this. Okay, we're up to plus three, which means we need five more Titanite shards for the bow. I've only ever seen someone change order to do the glitch. Have you ever done soul dupe? I have actually never done a soul dupe in my life. Um, there is a run coming up where I might do soul dupe just to save on a lot. And I mean a lot of farming. Um, but we'll see. I might just stick, stick it out anyway.
I might just end up doing a stream at some point where you guys can watch me kill forest hunters for nine hours. And then that'll only be like half the farming. Yeah, I also prefer not to soul dupe, personally. Uh, actually, I probably should have just dropped the other way of doing what I'm going to do. Is playing on Xbox, not PS5? Okay, so real talk. I would actually prefer to play Dark Souls on my PS5. But there is a problem with the PS5 controller... Um, that makes Dark Souls 1 Remastered, um, very difficult to play, because, uh, Dark Souls doesn't know how to read the PS5 controller's analog stick correctly, and some controllers have a problem where it will just randomly stop reading your movement inputs. So, that's a, uh... That's a problem that does exist. So that's why I never play Dark Souls 1 on PS5. Give it two more years and we'll be able to play Dark Souls on our cell phones. All right, y'all want to know something crazy. One of my buddies owns a Tesla. And the little computer monitor that, uh, on the Tesla, um, the Tesla came pre, uh, Stardew Valley with pre-installed on it. The Tesla came with Stardew Valley on the Tesla, on like the little GPS screen. When are we going to get Dark Souls remastered, remastered? I'm just saying, Blue Point. I'll play it. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, your your reaction is about the same one as mine. Also, yes, hello, Baron. Am I a plus five short sword? I am, yeah, cool. Oh, hey, I'm actually doing not a billion damage. Interesting. Did he only summon one clone? What? Cool. Okay, he wants to go to phase two here. That little lag in the game tells me so. All right, chat. <coughs> I'm picking up this mask in 20 seconds. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? We got mother, we got child, we got father. What's the mask? Seeing a lot of child. Seeing some fathers, a few mothers. Ooh. All right. We're going to see who's right. In. Five, four, three, two, one. Child day! Everyone who said child, you were correct. Also, the best mask in the game. Congratulations to everybody who said child. Also, I know it hasn't been that long since I've played Dark Souls 1, but I feel so like rusty right now. It might be because I've just been playing Dark Souls 3, but I feel so rusty at this game at the moment. Yeah, I can't wear it. Obviously, it drops. True. Do 
that. And we'll do this. And something died. I think one of the dogs died. Uh, no Black Knight. So... When I did the 100%, I fell to my death maybe 20 times doing that run. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that run uh, that runs killed me uh, once or twice before. And by once or twice, I mean I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> nope, uh, not what I wanted. Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five reinforced weapon. Uh, how many? arrows did we buy we currently have 154 we'll go ahead and get like that that feels good going from Elden Ring to DS1 felt like break dancing to chess yeah I could see it oh are you kidding me Oh, this is going to get really awkward. I think my sword scales better with strength, but my bow scales better with dex. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Well, welcome to uh, quality build, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the build that is made of quality. The optimal tomb route is glitch warping straight to Nito. <laughs> DS3 moves so much smoother and faster going back to DS1 feels like you're running around with lead shoes. True, although I'm not going to lie chat. I've been uh I've been playing a lot of DS3 and I might have a weird take. I always do. Holy crap, some of the hitboxes on 3 are so bad. They are so bad. Like. Especially the enemies in the freaking, uh. What is it? The, um. Fair and Keep area? Oh my god. I mean, to be like, not that I'm saying that's a specifically a hello kick. That's really what you want. What do you mean you leave me no choice? You are already attacking me. We're not even quitting out here. Give me my stuff. Welcome in, Tots. Hope it's a lovely day at GameStop today. Stress hitboxes from things like spears are sus in all the games. True. Yeah, this isn't just a Dark Souls 3 problem. All the games have bad hitbox problems. But... Just something that I've noticed in this particular iteration. What boss are we on? We just killed Gargoyles and Pinwheel. And uh, we're headed straight to Quaylag, actually. Because, because we have a bow, I think it's time we do uh, another little fun deviation from our usual route. And uh, we're going to do a Quaylag stunlock. Because I think that sounds fun. Also, hopefully I don't botch this. Why didn't I hey why didn't it quit out? Hey. That's fine. That's been really finicky today for some reason. 
I was working with it earlier, and it was being finicky. I will die on the hill that all of the Souls games have abhorrent hitboxes, and the most instances people point to in the games are really bad grabs. Yep. Yep. I'm down to bet on how long the stun lock lasts. So I will say the last time I did this was Dark Souls without walking, and I managed to keep her stun locked the whole fight. So we'll see what happens this time. There is also the, uh, the cheese that I could show off, but I'm wondering if I should wait for a different run to do that. Because there is a Quaylag cheese that is quite powerful in the right hands. It takes a little bit of setting up, but there's a way to glitchlessly cheese Quaylag that does not involve jumping up to the left. Is it pretty Gouda? Yeah, it's quite Swiss. Bonk. We really do be the worst. <laughs> um, I'll grab this large Titanite shard, actually. Just so that way when I get um, large Ember, I'll immediately have a way to make a plus six. Also, now that I get to play as Hunter, I get to show off more of the bow strats. DS1 bows have the best game feel because nothing of this game was built with them in mind. I don't know if I'd say they have the best feel, but I will agree that bows do feel really good in this game. Alright, so I'm going to try and set up the cheese. Um, then I'll probably quit out and we'll go for a, a stun lock. When this cheese works, it's hilarious. Come here, Quaylag. You want a sword swing? You do. Cool. So yeah, one of those attacks can still hit you, but... You can basically set her up right there, and it's really easier to keep her locked in one place. So, like, if you want to do the stun lock, you can lock her right there, or with a sorcery, you can put her right there. Uh, with a lot of weapons, you can just continuously stun lock her in that spot. It's a fun little thing. You just have to set it up so she kind of, like, runs into that spot. Uh, because she can break out of it. Okay. Why are you hopping so much? There we go. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. I should have dodged right there. She got revenge for no walking. Uh. Bows. Bows. Wow. Sif's bow sniper spot feels weirdly intentional. 
I mean, it does feel really weird that it's just right there. I'm playing a little goofy this run. I'm playing different. I'm moving different. This <laughs> shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'm a dog. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Shout out to Dracula Flow. What's the bow snipe spot for Sif? Okay, so basically, if you spawn Sif in at the fog gate, there is, right before you go into the room, there's a big pile of rubble to the left. If you just stand on top of that, you can shoot Sif from outside of the room. Like, that's the entire cheese. You just stand on a pile of rubble that's right there and shoot Sif with a bow from there. It is a lot simpler than a lot of people think it is. Why did I go this way? What? What's wrong with me? That's fine. I'll just test this here. Nyom. Monk. Oh, it's very mean. <laughs> the hardest part of that whole strat is finding the angle to jump up on the rubble. And even that is like, just jump at it until you get it. Quaylag is easy sauce, just get good. Hey, how was a Godskin duo? How was that Godskin duo with only uh, sorcery there, Tots? I'm wondering. I know that challenge is, uh, you know, it's it, it's known to do a lot of damage. I'm just just curious. Stop being mean to the person who has no ties to you whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, no ties at all. Even if there is a video on the channel explicitly saying how we are related. You should go watch and see how easy it was. Yeah, yeah, everybody should go see how easy it was. No, really, you should go see how it went. There we go. I appreciate you choosing a slow attack on a reapproach. Thank you once again. Mmm, I do not like how that was going. <laughs> There was a bit of panic there. There's a lot of micro adjustments you have to make here. There we go. 
And there is uh, a good example, a decent example of how uh, what a Quelag stunlock can look like. This almost looks more nerve-wracking than a normal fight. With a bow, it can be. That being said, when we get to sorcery, it is so easy to stunlock Quelag with sorcery. Like, sorcery is one of the much easier ways to stunlock the spider. Also, just saying Calamite is the worst boss in DS1, you are certainly allowed to have that opinion. You would not be the only person who has that opinion, but I am sure there are people who would disagree. Bed of Chaos is the worst? I don't know. Demon Fire Sage is right there. <laughs> yep, copy and paste gang is right there. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Once again, sharing the same brain cell dream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a sneezy boy. Did I take my allergy pill? I don't think I've taken my allergy pill. I don't think I've taken my prescription. All right, splash your blast water. Thank you, sir. Bless ya. Thank ya. Elden Ring is the only game to do dragons well. Ooh. Ooh, someone's on here with the spicy takes. I do like some of the Elden Ring dragons. Not all of them. For example, uh, Fortisax is amazing, in my opinion. Uh, but other, th like, I don't really like Smarog. I'm not a big fan of Exikes. Um, Agil, Agil's fine. Um, Lancey Axes. Yeah. Okay, we got levels we gotta spend. We'll go ahead and even those out, and we'll go ahead and put ourselves there. How are we doing on AR at the moment? 170. Chat, I'm gonna open my eyes. And when I'm open my eyes, the bow is not gonna have better AR than my short sword, right? Right? All right, so the bow does more damage than my sword at the moment. That's fun. Ow. Yeah, there's a lot of really, like, really annoying AoE stuff in Elden Ring. And yeah, Lanciax should, like... Lanciax has really cool lore, but I don't think the fight really does it justice. It also kind of sucks that Lanciax is just kind of a boss. It's kind of tossed to the side of Altus. She deserved better.
that being said, Elden Ring does a lot of boss fights really, really well. Like, my... I'd say three of my top five Souls fights are from Elden Ring. Although I probably shouldn't spoil the inevitable uh, ranking every boss in the Soulsborne franchise video that I will inevitably do. Although first I gotta beat, uh, first I gotta do ranking every boss in the Dark Souls trilogy. So that's gonna be fun. All 91 of them I think there is. Because it's 20, 26, 25, 42, 93. 93 bosses. Need to beat Bloodborne? I need to beat the Dark Souls 3 DLC first. I've already beaten one of them. I've only got one more. Am I getting stuck in the fire? What is this? And DS2 is half of them. Yep. Then get it done. I'm busy. If I wasn't doing this today, I'd be playing Dark Souls 3. But you know what? I've got this to work on. Don't you get on my case about getting things done. Not sure that any Elden Ring bosses would make my top 5 FromSoft. That's fair. Uh, I know that I die on the... Uh, I die on the weird grandstand of uh, my beloved Melania. My favorite, uh, my favorite from soft boss. Why am I jump attacking? But who knows? Maybe Dark Souls Three will change that. All right. Welcome to uh Welcome to Capper Demon. Uh Okay, so the alluring skull strat worked about as well as I thought it would. Good to know. I forgot if Alluring Skulls worked in this room or not. I wanted to double check that for a video I'm making. <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Thank you for that pivot, Mr. Capra. Yikes. Yoink. Yoink. Bonk. 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 Machete. Okay, good. Nyom. DS1 is my number two, so Elden Ring is definitely below Elden. Ring? Huh? I feel like Sekiro bosses are climbing my own top five. That's fair. I've heard Sekiro has had very, uh... Sekiro has, does have very good bosses from what I've heard. Just saying if Lyurnia, Altus Plateau, and Weeping Peninsula were removed, it'd be my top three. Um, I'd say keep Lyurnia, just don't make it so overloaded with content. It's just weird that Lyurnia has the most content in the whole game, to me. Uh, you would think that, uh... You would think that something like Altus would have the most content in it, but... That or, um... Fire Giant, or, uh, Land of the Giants, that's what I'm thinking. What do we think the worst boss in Elden Ring is? 
Shit like flower in a cave doesn't count. Uh, personally, I'm thinking valiant gargoyles. Either valiant gargoyles or Fias champions. And I hate to have to count them, but you do get an achievement for killing them. Thank you. Where did you come? Did that dog just teleport? Or am I... Am I on something different or did that dog just teleport? Yeah, gargoyles are awful. Visions of DS3? Valiant Gargoyle is probably my least favorite boss in all of FromSoft, except maybe some Sekiro bosses. That's fair. Yeah, no. Gargoyle... The Valiant Gargoyles are... The war... Not only the worst iteration of the Gargoyles in FromSoft, but... Ugh. God, it's just so bad. I don't know why I'm playing so scared today. Oh my god! Um... just watched the game take an extra long time with the death screen just so it could watch the rat Sigma walk away. Yeah, that rat, that, that rat was playing a fighting game and his hands were rated E for everyone. Although that does remind me, I don't think I grabbed the rubbish. Which I need to do. Weird, the stream cut out again. Why are you at the bonfire? Yeah, so I wanted to homeward bone or a uh, dark sign. Uh just so you know I could get do stuff and things. Which pink hollow is this? Where did Where did you come from? Who are you? <laughs> Yeah, there's no blood stain down there. There, there's no reason for there to be one, because I didn't die. Giga clap. I managed to catch a streamer stream. Glad I made it. Only a little late. Yeah, you did. We're on our way down to somewhere I definitely didn't just die. Uh, don't worry about it. Yum. I am playing very badly today. And it's concerning. Maybe it's because I'm just tired from adjusting to a new sleep schedule again, but... Yeah, 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 this is hitless. Yeah. You can tell because I haven't gotten hit yet.
DS1 plays bad? I mean, honestly, this isn't a DS1 problem. This is definitely a me problem. Like, don't get me wrong. There are times when DS1 can be a, a bit janky. It's just me today. You just shrug off a headshot. Weird champ. Just remember how DS1 can queue a roll. Oh, don't worry. Some of the other games are capable of that too. Looking at you, Elden Ring. And DS2. Probably DS1 as well. Probably. Or DS3, potentially. I can't remember it ever happening, but that feels right. It's almost like all these games are on the same engine or something. Oh, right. I've already killed Quaylag. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Not bad for damage. I just had a weird thought, chat. Does anybody else think that Gaping Dragon is closer to a Monster Hunter boss than a Souls boss? Does anybody else see it? Honestly, yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. Uh, ow. If I didn't miss that first swing, I actually would have killed him on that right there. So where's my emote? It looks like a spike trap that just emerges from the earth. True. Did I just... Wait. No, that makes sense. I'm dumb. That I'm I'm dumb. Never mind. I'm I'm really out of it today. I was like, why? Why did I just get 30k from Gaping Dragon? Shouldn't it have been like 22k? But no, I'm I'm dumb. I'm thinking of co-op souls amounts, not a uh, not Silver Serpent Ring. It's rage mode is when it bends back and all its teeth are out. That'd be sick.
Yo, I'm just saying. Monster Hunter, I think it's Wilds that comes out in 25. I'm just saying. Monster Hunter Dark Souls uh, collab. Add Dark Souls bosses as Monster Hunter creatures. So you're just blocking arrow from behind. Yep, it happens. I still have no idea why. Uh, yeah, I do need to go this way anyway. Speaking of Monster Hunter World, that's another game I'd really like to do a challenge in. I've only d played Monster Hunter World based on the fact they did a collab with DMC. Yeah, and the Dark Souls, uh, not Dark Souls, uh, the Devil May Cry collab was really fun. I loved Code Red. What would the challenge for Monster Hunter be? I have a couple ideas. Uh, one of them that I communicated to Lemon and he proceeded to call me insane. So, that means I'm probably more likely to do it. I should be going after the very large ember, by the way. But I want to kill Moonlight Butterfly first. Interesting. Are you insane for trying it? Yes. <laughs> then obviously you should. True. I should also probably get the Chlorin Theory ring because I keep running out of stamina. <laughs> Interesting. Slinger only? No. Something not quite that restrictive, but could prove to be utter insanity later on in the game. I'm opening that. I'm not touching that, though. Yeah, Lemon did do Kinsect only. In fact, I watched rewatched that video, like, two days ago. DMC doesn't need a six. No, but it should get one. Devil may cry. Devil never die. <laughs> Let that series continue forever. Frustration is getting bigger. Dang, dang, bang. Pull my devil trigger. You fool. Why can I not throw firebombs today? Uh, 
All right, how much damage does the bow do? Interesting. Oh, all right, come here. I'll be fine. Virgil continuing to make poor decisions to gain power? Accurate. True. That being said, I have not played 5 yet. I really should. Uh, I have been replaying the entire series. Um, I'm back up to 4 on my off time. I have not played 5 yet, and listen. I don't care what Capcom tells me. The lawn chair is canon. Virgil's chair is canon. <laughs> and no Capcom propaganda is ever going to tell me otherwise. There's probably a mod to add it somewhere. Oh, there is. That's where it all started. No Capcom propaganda will tell me that Devil May Cry 2 was a real video game. Listen. No, no, no. I'm the opposite. I'm convinced that there was a real video game in, in Devil May Cry 2. I just... I want to know what happened. I, ju I just want to know. Like, whoever wrote Devil May Cry 2... I want to look inside their head of what they wanted that game to look like. Because genuinely, I think if they remade Devil May Cry 2, like if they did a remake of it, it could genuinely be the best game in the series. Well, one of them at least. If they remade it to what it was intended to be. Are you going to play DMC? No, because it doesn't exist. Ha ha ha. I might play it eventually. I have no plan on touching DMC. Actually, maybe there will be a DMC challenge video. The challenge is playing the game. Oh, nice. No double hit there. Is Armor of Thorns in DS2 or DS3? It's in DS3, not DS2. Mm, that was a bad cycle to go on, but it worked out. True Devil 2 Cry was decent, but was it a fan of DFC 19? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really a uh, a big fan of Devil May Cry 21. Um, the one where we found out that Dante went back in time and actually uh, had a child with Sparta, um, his own dad. That was really weird, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is canon. <laughs> Listen, remember chat, if a company ever copyright strikes something, that makes it canon. 
I don't make the rules. <laughs> they turned Devil May Cry <laughs> into the latest edition of FIFA. <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. I needed to grab the kit. Where am I going? I am just an autopilot. I need to grab the cage key. I need to go back down because we're fighting ONS with a plus 15. So that way we can be consistent for the final video. What am I doing? Oh my God. Yo, where is... Remember, you guys remember Marvel vs. Capcom? When are we going to get Marvel vs. Capcom, like... Let's just turn that into all of the, like, Super Mario clones, you know? Like... Marvel vs. Capcom Baseball. Marvel vs. Capcom uh, Super Strikers. Like a soccer game. Marvel vs. Capcom Kart. I'm just saying, this writes itself. Phoenix Wright can have a special ability where he has an objection and the judge orders that the goalie get physically removed. Marvel versus Capcom open world sandbox. <laughs> he couldn't dodge the allegation. Wolverine Golf? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Flavor it like a WWE game. Now I'm just imagining Hulk Hogan just body slamming Miles Edgeworth. How about you object to this, brother? Donk. Looks like that relevance objection got you thrown out of the courtroom, brother. <laughs> oh, oh my god, here comes Phoenix Wright, and he has a chair! Oh, oh, and he's got the chair, he's picked it up, he's going around for the backswing, and oh, objection, your honor! And the jury has found that man down for the count! The jury goes wild! <laughs> Do you imagine just in the middle of a freaking, like, tag battle match? Just... <laughs> it's just Superman just celebrating that he just, like... He just bodied 
like Phoenix Wright or something. And then all of a sudden, Barry the light starts to play. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? And just a Virgil starts to come out. And Superman's like, oh, shit. Virgil's out there throwing hands with Superman at the WWE match. All of a sudden, Dante comes out. Come to find out he's taken side with the DC or Marvel or whatever. <laughs> Just so he could beat up Virgil. <laughs> Nero comes out. Because you know what? This is getting out of hand. One winged angel. But it's actually Kenny Omega. It's just an actual WWE star. Starts throwing hands with Nero. Oh my god. I keep saying DC Heroes, but it's Marvel versus Capcom. Oh man, the mo Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is quaking in its boots all of a sudden at the sheer potential. What is even happening anymore? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know why I find this idea so funny. That Hulk is in the cage match, ready for his opponent. He's ready. All of a sudden, Trucy from Phoenix Wright comes out, and Hulk just starts sweating. I just joined the stream. What the hell is going on? Who knows? It's beyond power. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the Phoenix Wright attorneys. Just exposing people. <laughs> oh, where the hell is the Dark Wraith? I'm I I'm just an autopilot at this point. I cannot focus on anything. Go ahead, try and charge at me. Cal knows about how Trucy, how far does his knowledge of Ace Attorney go? I know more than, like, the average person who's not played Ace Attorney, but I am still one of those people who's not played it. And I really want to play through the Ace Attorney series, but it's like... I have a couple other series I need to get through first. To the presentation of this wad of chewing gum attached to the Declaration of Independence, I have found that Maya cannot be guilty of nuking the country of Turkey. Yo, Dubis Goobis makes amazing videos. If nobody has, if anybody here has not watched Dubis Goobis animations, they are extremely quotable and you should watch them right now. Ace Attorney Challenge Run would be crazy. If I could figure out how to make one, I'd so be down. I don't know what I would do.
You know what? You, come here. That's gonna hit the pillar. Ow! I don't like it when you go for that move. Uh-oh. 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 Well, now I have to deal with you because you're in the way. And that's annoying. Can I get around you, actually? Trust. Thank you. There's nothing that you can drop, so. Can't you just firebomb him? I could have, but I don't really have a lot of firebombs, and I don't know if I'm going to need them for anything else. Bonk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't like that. That's a combo we do not like. I'm just double chugging here, because... It's gonna hit me anyway. I am playing very poorly. I know I've said that a few times, but it is actually ridiculous how bad I was, uh. Ridiculous how badly I am playing. That's all right. We'll get our plus 15, and then we'll start uh, blasting through bosses. I actually think Hunter is probably going to be the most middle-of-the-pack class we get. Bonk. Just remember, you're better than most. Don't beat yourself down. I wouldn't. Know, I don't know if I would say most. What do you think will be slash has been the worst class thief? That bandit's dagger sucked. Like at least sorcerer will have some options with soul arrow. Like, to do some cool things with it. Thief was bad. Thief was really bad. It was like a 10-minute Artorius. One's the Souls Tuber tier list. Uh, I can make one for April 1st. It'll be great. I'll be very accurate. Best one so far? Wanderer. You know what? If this kills me, it kills me. Ooh. Oh my god, he didn't block the door for once. Uh, Alright, how many chunks do I have? I have six, which means... I need one more. The one I trade to Snuggly. That's the one I'm missing. Are you doing the magic classes too? I am. Um, the difference with the magic classes though is I'm not allowed to trade out any of the spells. So I have to use the catalyst and the spells I start with. Uh, we're going to go up to 25 strength just to give the sword the best option it can. New to Dark Souls 1, played a ton of Elden Ring. How do you hit the ghosts? Uh, item called Transient Curse. 
Uh, you gotta pop one of these, and it gives you a limited buff that allows you to hurt the ghosts. I'm guessing you can get extra copies of the spells, though, right? Yes, I can. So I can get more heal, I can get more fireball, and I can get more uh, soul arrow. Neil. You can't even block the ghosts yet because you can't physically interact with them. Yeah, you can also be cursed or use a cur cursed weapon. Also, hey, Faye. I don't know if I've just missed you a lot, but I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you. Pyromancer might end up being the best magic class. It's just gonna... It's just gonna end up being one of those things where it's like, uh, will the farming be worth it, you know? Hey, hey, hey. And you know what? If you want to continue lurking, you are totally fine. I won't force you to come chat. I can totally respect the lurker. As someone who lurks in a lot of Twitch streams. Did you release Hex only for DS2? I did, yes. I'm lurking, but I like the stream. Thank you so much, Acheron. How long do you need to finish Dark Souls 1? If I'm going for full speedrun, my best time is an hour and eight minutes. But on average, to do an all bosses playthrough, it takes me about three hours. If I'm just playing casually. Challenge runs usually take me a bit longer, depending on the challenge, obviously. Um, I imagine I could probably redo the magic runs in a pretty good time. Because I've gotten a lot better at the game since I've made them. But hey, that's kind of the point in making them your first challenges with a game, because you do easier challenges while you're worse at the game to get better, and you slowly turn up the difficulty. Yes, so on speedrun.com, I believe I my time right now, it's not quite updated, but if I put my PB in, I'd only go up by like one place. And sometime this year, I want to go for a sub hour glitchless run. So that's when I'll update my PB on speedrun.com. But I have never beaten the game in under an hour for glitchless. Oh, for my first time beating Dark Souls? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. Uh, my file might still exist on my 360, but I'd have to get it out. Hey, Kyle, guess whose house had a gas leak? Oh, God. Hope you're okay. That's a thing, Super Juke. I think that happened as well. I could be wrong, but wasn't there something wrong with your air conditioning dream? And you live out in, like, the desert parts. Uh, Andre percent is glitchless, but, like, if somebody wants to make a better any percent version of it, do it. Why, yes! There was! Okay, yeah, I thought I was remembering that correctly. Oh, 
Whoa, Lemon, you're quite aggressive today. Please. Thank you. Oh god, I forgot about that. Where's Carl? Carl's off selling things to people. I imagine. That or he's still locked in a dungeon. I don't know, you'll have to ask Lemon. I'm not allowed to talk to him. And by him, I mean Carl, not Lemon. I'm exclusively allowed to talk to Lemon. What's your favorite class build? Uh, my favorite build to play in this game is a... Um, a great scythe with, uh, which is hybrid dex faith. Playing specifically great scythe with sunlight blade. Do we have doll? We do have doll. Which, by the way, if anybody here is looking for a new way to play Dark Souls, play with the great scythe. It's so fun. Are you ever going to stream Baldur's Gate? Uh, maybe. We're at one tw an hour and 27 minutes into this run. You, you, give me warm. Oh, someone just DM'd me the Steam page for Persona 3 Remake. Where is Great Scythe? It is in the catacombs. It's uh it's not too bad actually. Um on if you don't really know the pathing, you might end up having to do a couple run throughs, like a little a few death runs in order to get it. But very worth it. Requires a 1616 in the stat in the uh stats. Did I kill Stray Demon? I killed Stray Demon, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, cool. You guys can probably tell I'm not mentally all here today. <laughs> Do you infuse Scythe? Nope, just go to plus 15. Um, plus 15 on the Scythe, you need 16 strength, 16 dex, throw the rest of your extra points that aren't in health and stamina into faith. Get to 30 faith. At 30 faith, you can cast both Sunlight Blade and Wrath of the Gods. And then you Sunlight Blade your uh, Scythe, and then you have Wrath of the Gods as just an offhand spell whenever you need it. If you want ranged options, you can get a uh, lightning spear, but plus 15 bow too, or just the sword for now, just the sword probably won't go that high on the bow only because there aren't really many options for us to use the bow anymore. I mean, we could, we could be cheesy with Gwendolyn. Pretty sure it's 14-14, not 16-16. I know Uchi Katana is 14-14. Great Scythe might be the same. Uh, 
Okay, since we have plus 15, let's go ahead and go fight Sif. And then we'll see what happens. By the way, is uh, everything audio-wise sound good for you guys? Hello, by the way. First time seeing you live. Watched a lot of your challenges before. Great content. Thank you so much, Stefan. And welcome in. Glad you were able to catch a stream live. Yes, very crisp. Awesome. I kind of... I kind of just went to OBS and just kind of typed in a bunch of numbers for audio levels that sounded correct. Um, so. Love the challenge video is also my first stream. Well, welcome into you as well. Hope you have fun here at the stream. I am much more unhinged when I am not able to script. Yeah, 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 I've never seen you before, uh, Waffles. Unhinged can be good, true. That's how the, uh, the dual-wielding Great Hammers incident happened in Elden Ring. The power stands giant crushers at 99 strength. I just fell into a stream one day. True. Yeah, I remember you were there for the 18 hour stream. Elden Ring, all achievements in one sitting, was very fun. Have a great night, Ragnar. Thank you so much for stopping by. When was that? That was uh, not the Christmas we just had, but the Christmas season before then. Okay. Damage is not bad. A about exactly a bar of HP every swing on Sif. That's pretty, actually pretty uh, satisfying. Battery almost dead. Have fun. All right. Catch you later, Tots. Elden Ring took me 300 hours to get every achievement, mostly just because after finishing the one run, I couldn't bring myself to ever fully get the end to finish another one. Yeah, endings are the worst part. I have almost 400 hours on Elden Ring, which, to be fair, isn't a ton. I mean, it's a decent amount. Um, all achievements done and stuff. What challenge do you think I should try? Um, really depends on what difficulty you're trying to chase after. Um, archery only was quite fun. Um, if you want to give something really interesting and tense a try, um, Stamina-less Elden Ring was genuinely a lot of fun. Although I will say, a lot of fun did come from routing it out. Um, so, making all the discoveries and stuff is something that you may not quite have as much might be one of the reasons why you might not have as much fun as I did with it um, but stamina of Elden Ring was definitely really fun um, I 
Hold on, I need to refresh something real fast. Mm -hmm. Refreshing my chat. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I don't have chat settings on correctly. There we go. Want something difficult to do to keep playing? I mean, if if you haven't done an RL1 yet, you can try RL1. The meta has changed a lot since the game came out. Which reminds me, I really should do another Elden Ring challenge soon. I know I have Briar armor to do, but I'm probably going to wait until the DLC comes out to do it. Consumables only could be fun. So, never? Exactly, yeah. Listen, Briar Armor comes out when uh, Silk Song comes out. Ah, ah. Cerulean tier plus Comet's still good? Yeah, it's still pretty good. I have some uh, fun plans for RL1 stuff in the future. But... That's the run I have planned for RL1 is very going to be very tense. So we'll have to see when that comes together. Okay. There we go. Got you. Got him. <laughs> Briar Thorn announcement when that starts with the replay of that audio followed by a sigh. <laughs> I swear if the Silk Song trailer drops tomorrow. No armor, just club RL1, and you're on Draconic Tree Sentinel. Yikes. I should play more Elden Ring. I'm just too busy with other things right now. Other challenges, other things that I'm planning out. Even though one of those challenges is an Elden Ring challenge, so I probably should dedicate time to it, but... My ability to multitask on projects is not super strong. We better get Elden Ring DLC before Silk Song. Honestly, I'd be okay with either one of them coming out first. I can't help but feel like I'm missing something. By the way, I don't know what it is. Do you have the doll? I do have the doll. Nice and easy. I forgot the doll. Ah. Did 
just joined back. I'm assuming since we're at Anor Londo, weapon is at plus 15. You would be correct. Well. Who are your favorite unconventional souls and souls like game speedrunners? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Um, I will say a souls like a game that is kind of souls adjacent. Um, who has a very popular speedrunner. I do enjoy watching uh Fireborn's videos on uh Hollow Knight. Especially the uh, Hunters vs. Speedrunner in Hollow Knight videos that Fireborn does. Those are very fun. But I'm also just a, a massive, like, secret Hollow Knight simp. So. Speaking of which, I really should play the DLCs for that. Because I love Grim. Grim is such a cool character. I only played like an hour of Hollow Knight and I didn't enjoy it. I could, I could see it. It's very fun though. I feel like I'm missing something here. Hold on. Uh. No, we're good. Okay. It's cool that we can one-shot these. Hunter versus speedrunner Elden Ring using seamless co-op. I've thought it would be cool to do um, Hunters versus speedrunner DS1, but I don't know how to pull that off. Elden Ring could also be fun, though. Okay. ONS time, baby. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Um. Okay, it was counter damage. Okay. Even still, that's pretty good damage. Hey, come on, so. Thank you. Oh, I thought he was going around for the backswing. That's still pretty good damage. I need to be careful of that phantom hitbox that Smo's leaving. That damage is actually pretty close to Wanderers. Uh-oh. Uh, we're fine. As long as we don't get hit by something stupid, we're good. That short sword actually kind of pumps some damage out, doesn't it? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen that way. Oh, I was just thinking to myself, the most dangerous move he could do there was hammer charge. Sheesh. 
Yeah, short sword actually is pumping out some. It's scaling pretty well. What are we at? 333 or 352. Wow. You know, it's it's initial damage wasn't that great. But what's the scaling on this thing? C and C. Wow. This thing is actually doing really well. I'm su I'm genuinely surprised pleasantly surprised even does fire resin scale no it doesn't happy with this i'm gonna go put the lord vessel down and then we're going to clear out the an orlando bosses uh and then we'll start preparing for lords and dlc Yeah, I mean, that kind of... Da I was expecting, like, okay damage, but that was nearly scimitar levels. I guess it's because the uh, scaling is split. It must be why. Okay. Um, we are here, so let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, let's go deal with the... Londo bosses, and then we will then we shall go take care of uh... probably four kings. We'll probably do four kings, then Nito, then Seath, then Bed of Chaos. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Or we could do we do Seath last, just so that opens up DLC. We'll see what happens. Only got about a half hour left to watch. All right, speed run mode on. We got this. But I'm sick, so watching stream instead, hey, take care of yourself on sick days, you know? Is there a conflict of interest in me saying watch my stream? Potentially. But you're sick, take care of yourself. <laughs> uh, reason I didn't kill the firekeeper up there, by the way, is so that way, um... If I die to Gwendolyn, I can. It's gonna put me all the way back at the Anne Orlando bonfire, and I want to be able to just warp back down here. So. Alrighty. I'm gonna stay up here. Okay, as soon as this moves, he's got bow out. Okay, he's back to magic. Pull your bow back out. Thank you. Yeah, you can actually watch him swap between catalyst and bow. I know I've said that in streams a lot, but... Very nice. So he's still on catalyst. If you watch the hand on your left on the left, 
where he's got the catalyst, you'll see him swap to the bow when he wants to do it. And still catalyst. There's the swap. You gotta be kidding. I just shoot him with an arrow, but like... Look at all this magic he's spamming. Trying to fit an arrow through that would be... Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Thank you. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Finish it with an arrow? I should have. Alrighty. Give more souls to my name. And two handed right now, we're at 368, one handed 349. That is really good. Like, genuinely a really good amount of, uh. Really good amount of damage here. Getting closer and closer to that magic uh, 400 AR number that we've been seeing a lot with these runs. I need to go back and check what number Wanderer got up to. Yeah, it was very close to two cycle. I may have, with better management, been able to do it. Or just slightly more AR. Huh, this place looks familiar. I don't know why, but I'm getting visions of a nun with a scythe right now. Weird. Yeah, super weird, isn't it, Dream? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad everyone agrees with me. All right, time for me to die a million times trying to get this skip again. Never mind, first try. It's the easiest skip of my fucking life. I mean, uh, pardon my French. I try not to drop the F-bomb in streams. I'm sorry. Now, if I got this first try, then I'd be really impressed. Yeah, never happens. Maybe take your meds. There we go. Hi, buddy. That only comes down sometimes for some reason. Ow. Mm-hmm. Hi, right, Priscilla. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Two strong attacks to stagger out of invisibility? That's quite good. Oh. 
That is very quite good. Yum. How many souls did she just give us? I never remember how many souls she gets. I just kind of get whatever she gives me and then go. Uh, you know what? We can... Let's go up here first, and we'll go ahead and do this real fast, and then we will uh, head back to our bonfire. Ow! Oh god. What you saw in the light of the dark moon haunt you forever. Oops. <laughs> Catch you later, Albatross. As I was getting ready to throw that attack, I was like, wait, can't she parry me? I was having mid-attack regrets. Still need to finish up all the DSR achievements on Steam. I should do that now that I've got the plat for ER for AC6. Hey, listen. It only takes, like... 12 hours to get the achieve all achievements on Dark Souls 1, right? Listen, I want these back. That's what you get for buffing in my face. That's how. Alright, we'll use this to return back up to Anor Orlando, and... This bonfire is no longer working. So, I'll have to run to... Yeah, we can just run into Duke's archives. I suppose we could just duke skip now and just kill Seath. Mm, I just realized we haven't killed the Hydra yet. Mm. I'm doing a faith build that mostly using a lightning spear and a holy claymore what weapon should i switch to or should i just use that one claymore can easily carry you through the entire game the claymore is a very good weapon um i would say i would actually swap from being a divine claymore i would actually just swap it back to standard to be honest so that way you could buff it with miracles just kill Hydra once you need to do the DLC. Yeah, but that is, that's not like really efficient with for the area I'm in. I'll have a lot of range with this sword, so I need to be careful. So what we'll do is we'll kill the pigs. And then we'll teleport to Parish, and then we'll kill Hydra, and then we'll Homeward Bone from Parish, or from Hydra, and it'll take us back to here, and then we'll get the Pendant, we'll kill, uh, 
We'll do Duke Skip. We'll get to Seath. So on and so forth. Ow. So, oh yeah, Sunlight Spear is post game. Um, I was thinking of Sunlight Blade. My bad. Yeah, Sunlight Blade. You're gonna want. Um, Sunlight Blade is in the chest just after Gwendolyn, by the way. Um, okay, we need to go to Parish. We gotta go deal with the Hydra. Hello, is it Barovica? Hope I pronounced that right. Welcome in. Uh, you could also go for Dark Moon Blade, though you'll have to farm the uh, souvenirs of reprisal. But Dark Moon Blade is also really fun. Jurender! How you doing? It has been a long time. Oh, my posture is terrible today. Sunlight Blade is a lot easier to get. Also, lightning damage is just the superior damage type, but... That's a different story. Yeah, I want to say farming souvenirs of reprisal was the biggest grind in all achievements for us as well, aside from getting all the Titanite to make the boss weapons. These give feather arrows, unfortunate. Any difference in the strength between Sunlight and Moonlight? I think Dark Moon does have slightly higher damage augment, but... Okay, that was great. The trident was the worst. So, funny enough, on the actual live stream we had, we got really lucky with our trident. I believe we got trident on our fourth attempt. Which is really, really good. Uh, the demon on Isolith does drop uh, demon titanite, yes. The titanite we needed was regular titanite. Because you need something like 136 titanite to make all the boss weapons. Damn that damage, how is that possible? Just some good old-fashioned scaling and uh, plus 15 short sword. Damage actually goes pretty crazy. How many bosses are left? We have not killed any of the lords yet. So lords and DLC. Where the... Am I crazy? Where the hell did those heads go? Welcome in, Connor. Go. Bow makes that nice and easy.
Kyle, I work 10 hour days in an archaeology lab, but I can't even tell much how much I appreciate your VODs and streams. So they seriously help me get th me through the day. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you so much, Tyrus. And honestly, good luck and have fun with archaeology. That sounds like a very interesting job with a lot of tedious work in it, but I'm very glad that I can make your day better. That's... I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's all I ever want to do with my job is I just want to make everybody's day a bit better. Hey, I have a good idea. What's your good idea? Nice. Three swings. All right, cool. That takes care of the Hydra, so now we can just, uh, now we can go up there and start to hit up that golem. I appreciate that, Jurender. Killing these guys in one shot with backstabs is very nice. Because these crystal hollows are easily some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Purely because of the damage and uh, armor they have. Their resistances are very cracked. Thank you. Killing these all one by one because I don't want to have to go through here multiple times. My first time through DS2 was also on a Hayden Knight Sword. I don't think I infused it with lightning, but... I was mashing A there, by the way. I'm pretty sure I heard that I got the... Yeah, there's the broken pendant. Okay. God, I haven't done this in a while. Oh, that was very close. I needed to angle more left. I wish Grass Crest had 100% physical negation. Yeah, but then it would be way too strong. I mean, it's already pretty strong as it is. Claymore is a very strong weapon in, like, every Souls game. There we go. I think you mean the Chlorinthy ring I wear on my back. True. Can you get out of my way, please? Thank you. In fact, a lot of people, when they do their very first run of Dark Souls 1, my cl the Claymore is actually my most recommended weapon. I, I think Claymore makes for a perfect uh, first-time Dark Souls playthrough weapon. The move set encourages um, to. The move set very is good at clearing wide enemies in one hand. When you two hand, it's good for single target, so it encourages experimenting with two handing and one handing. Um, 
its damage scales well through the entire game. Um, and it can pretty much fit into any build you want. Um, you can get it really early, and it can just service through the entire game. Just... Mm. Although, funny enough, um, one of my earliest playthroughs of this game that I took into the most New Game Plus cycles, um, I actually, when I played through it, um, I was too scared to run across the bridge to grab the Claymore from the dragon, so I bought the Bastard Sword from Andre, <laughs> and I did a bunch of New Game Plus cycles with uh, the Bastard Sword from Andre. Which, if you don't know what the Bastard Sword is, it is literally just objectively worse Claymore. Okay. So, clams are always a problem. Uh, I'm just going to try to kill them today. Because I don't feel like dealing with their crap. So, I died a bit too many times to Seath in a very recent playthrough. And uh, don't want to deal with that again. That was a very weird animation. Clams are also just weird, to be honest. Dangerous. I did not input another attack, but okay, game. Genuinely, probably my least favorite enemies in this game. I hate them so much. Kind of wanted you to just use your bow for this run. I mean, the short bow can be good. Um, there are just definitely points. It would make the run take a lot longer. Because there's a lot of stuff I'd have to invest in. By the way, I should just have those equipped. There we go. You have a bow that you can use to aggro the clams with? That's not really the problem. The problem is just... There's a strat I could be doing, and I don't want to do it because it's dangerous. But I'm, I'll do it.
My problem is I've had too many runs that I let clams in, and I'm just tired of it. So, yeah, like, see here, we would have two clams, but we have a strat for this. Audio for Storm King is just Chef's Kiss. Listen, Storm King is probably my favorite Demon Souls boss. Okay, so now what we do... Really? You're exploding? I hate you. You crystal pain in my ass. Sometimes Seath is just awful. <laughs> I still love him. Sometimes I hate him. All right, cool. That takes care of Seath. DLC is ready. Heading out to make dinner. Have fun with dinner, Sigeru. I hope that's it. pronounced that correctly. Kyle, I had a dumb question above. Thank you. All right, what do you have? Do you think I can convince Silver to let me use a giant sewing needle as a finesse spear? I think that sounds awesome. Awesome? Awesome. Okay, next up is Four Kings. Did I keep my gold pine resin? I did. Good. Awesome. Oh, I might. There's an awesome over there. All right, chat, who's ready for me to one king with the short sword? <laughs> An asshole? <laughs> An asshole? Are you making fun of my accent? No, I'm celebrating it. We have to send. We'll have to send it to uh, to some of my New Zealand friends. They'll have to rank it. There we go. Kyle, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, yada yada. Set up your paid subscriptions, please, and thank you. I will, eventually, I promise. I'm gonna do this while you're approaching. Please come for melee, please come for melee. Yeah, that's not the kind of melee I wanted. But I'll take it. You know what? I'm doing optimal. God, not having any kind of bonus stamina regen on this fight is awful. Ooh.
Okay, looks like it's going to be a three king. Thank you once again, Alexander. There we go. Definitely want to get the Silver Serpents on for this guy. The little sword that could. True. The max number of kings, I think, was like... I want to say it was... Nine? Somewhere around there. It could also be eight. Actually, wait. Yeah, there we go. 371, one hand, 388, two hands. Very nice. Alrighty. What's the best Zelda game? Um, I could see somebody saying either Wind Waker or Tears of the Kingdom. Those would be my voice, my personal choices. I don't know why I'm kindling this bonfire. I just felt a need to. Skyward Sword Trust. Skyward Sword is good. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it, but I enjoyed Skyward Sword. Twilight Princess. That's a really good choice. I don't know if the short sword is too good or if Kyle's a god. Listen. The amount of skill that I have or lack thereof does not change the amount of damage that it deals. Minish Cap Gang. What was that roll buffer? Hello? Alright. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just gonna do the safe strat. I never upgraded my Estus flask, huh? You know what? Link's crossbow training. True. Bonus shields. See, I just got to keep doing it so that way it doesn't become a thing. How's the run going so far? It's going pretty good. Um, short sword. The damage early on was okay. But. It's actually scaled really hard. Um, we've been doing a surprising amount of damage with it. Is the bow useful at all this run? Yeah, I mean, we could kill uh, Ingward with it and skip Ghost House. We stunlocked Quelag to death with it, which may have genuinely have been harder than just using the short sword, but I mean, we used it. Uh, and we're going to be using bow to make Bed of Chaos easier. Uh, if you guys have never seen the bow strat for Bed of Chaos, then, uh... You're in for a fun time. I see Kyle and Firelink look away, look back, and he's at a new boss I have no idea how to get to. Uh, 
Okay, this way. And there. Oh, hey, Leroy's gonna invade. Hey, Leroy. Well, don't worry, Mohammed. We are going to uh, do a bow strat that you cannot mess up. As long as you have enough arrows. Green Titanite. I shall learn this game. Your challenge videos are too entertaining for me to not play and finish this beautiful game. You got this, Chief. You're going to get through it. A Leroy run. Unfortunately, that wouldn't turn on until after... Uh... Until after ONS. DS1's weapon upgrade system is so cursed. It's my personal favorite in the series. I think all of the other weapon upgrade systems are a lot worse, but that's just me. Hmm, I did that. Not a bad time, that's okay. I had a plan for it, but... Oh, I'm one-shotting skeletons. I mean, I do have resin on, but even still. No. I'm just going to tank this. Ah, yeah, I shouldn't. That freaking skeleton hit me. Uh. I was just going to backstep through the explosion, but the skeleton hit me. That's obnoxious. I mean, it's, it's something I should have known was going to happen. Need the grass? No, I don't need it for this fight. I This fight isn't... Stamina isn't the problem. It was controlling the skeletons that I did poorly. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely get it. It's just... That was just a bad decision to play the fight like that in that particular point. Did we grab another lord after Seath or straight to Nido? Uh, we did four kings. So right now, we have four kings and Seath. Those are some very strange angles, but okay. Yeah, we have Bed of Chaos and... Whoa, what the hell happened there? I'm hitting the weirdest angles today. Okay, this time we're going to do this properly. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we're going to have to go buy more charcoal pine resin, but that's all right. Uh, we've got uh, Demon Fire Sage, Centipede Demon, Bed of Chaos, um, and then DLC Final Boss. Oh, wow. You got really close this time, Nito. In fact, I'm going to grab my stuff. Okay, this is where I'll be fine. Skeleton could screw me over here. Okay, we're... We're good. There we go. It's right here? Ah, I was just off. Nito is my favorite Iran car. <laughs> That's amazing. Alrighty. Um, that means we gotta go back to Firelink. Um, I actually would like to get Gold Pine Resin. Um... I don't know if I've done this on the other playthroughs, but I want to on this one. I'd like to gold pine resin and just turbo smack centipede demon. Uh, but I'll run up and grab the charcoal first, so that way I can uh, just come back, drop down, grab the gold pine. I mean, you are Ichi go to the pole. Yeah, did you uh, did you remember to leave a like on the on the on the other uh, the vod of the stream? If you did, I'd much appreciate it. If you press that like button, if you press the like button. Uh, I uh, I'll come up with a reward for. A hundred likes. I'll I'll give you a reward of some kind. I don't know what it is yet. Last time we did story time. We could do more gamers weekend story time if you want. So this you do. Yoink. Hey, Dom Hall, I barely come see you over here. Thank you. Uh, let me refresh my stream. Ooh, we're up to 83. Um, there we go. Already liked the stream an hour ago when I joined. First thing I did, I very much appreciate that. Also, I should go down here. Kyle, a couple of us have decided that Gwyn is Yamamoto. How do you feel about that? Um, elevator sound? Uh, uh. Um. Ch 
chat, I'm suddenly very afraid of my game. What? Uh. Uh. Um. I'm scared. Uh, not hearing the elevator sound is very cursed to me. For chat to change things in your DS1 run, I believe uh, there is a program for that, which crowd control DS1 could be fun. Oh, that was the newer Blight Town drop, and by newer, I mean it's like, I mean it's kind of old at this point. Um, okay, so Yamamoto being Gwyn is weird. <laughs> because Yamamoto does stuff. Uh, the Artorias of the Bleach universe. Okay, this might sound weird, but Ginjo. Uh, no, I have not implemented that into my speedrun streams yet, Drender, so... Uh, that is something newer that I have started doing. I'm gonna go get the spider lady real fast. Because I want her soul. Yeah, I'd say Ginjo is probably uh, Artorius. Oh, that got timed very wrong. Eh, this is fine. A Rukia Elden Ring run at some point. Ooh. That could be very fun. Yeah, no, Ginjo is really cool. Unfortunately, Ginjo is a part of the arc that... It's probably the least enjoyed Bleach arc, but I actually liked it. Do I think it's... Do I think it's the worst Bleach arc? Uh, no. I mean, the, the, when you're talking about the worst Bleach arc, you're talking about, like, who did the worst at the Olympics, you know? Definitely coming back when you stream again, or if you still are when I have time again. This is the best stream I've ever watched. Thanks for entertaining us. Hey, I really appreciate it, Pop Blue. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Have you read Berserk? Not yet. I will potentially get to doing Berserk things. I'm very bad when it comes to reading manga. Uh, if you're wondering what that means... My brain does not have a natural sense of pacing when I read manga, which makes it difficult for me. Um, 
because I feel like I'm reading it too fast and I don't properly absorb what's going on, you know? Like, I don't absorb the moment correctly. I'm not going to worry about you. It's just Fire Sage. Yeah, I've heard the I've heard the original anime adaptation for Berserk was actually really good. I don't need these anymore. Damn it. It's okay. This time I'll get out of it. Probably should be using gold pine resin, but... Oh my god, are you kidding? Well, this is awkward. There we go. Why is he using fire with a fire boss? Because... For some reason, they decided to make that the only boss in the entire area that is not immune to fire. I do not know why. Alrighty. Next up is Centipede. Okay, we're gonna try to go for the fast strat. Fine. That's the attack you went for. I could have sworn that's what you were going to go for. But that's GG anyway. Goodbye, Centipede. Are the other demon reskins immune to fire? Uh, no. But as far as the bosses go, Ceaseless Discharge, Quaylag, Centipede Demon, and Bed of Chaos are all immune to fire. Fire Sage is the only boss down here that does is that is does not have immunity to fire. But the next boss is, uh, thankfully, we have a bow for it, so we get to do some really easy strats for it. Which is not the Toki Bombs, actually. Have you wanted to play Baldur's Gate 3? I am actually in the middle of playing a co-op run of Baldur's Gate 3. 
It has been quite fun. We need to get back to it sometime. I've just been really busy making videos. Because it's been... Uh, I've actually been really on the making videos grind again. And I want to try and be a better creator for you guys. Because, uh, not to get too sappy, but these past two years have definitely, uh, I'll just put it like this. If I were asked, I think I'd rather have been in a coma than live these last two years. But... Things are looking up. Things are pointed in a good direction. So, I want to ride that to the fullest. And, uh, we're going to make, we're going to make this happen. That being said, uh, waifu is Shadowheart because, um, she's human. <laughs> we love you, just let us give you money easier. <laughs> I'm working on it. Also, thank you for the two. Half-elf? Okay, yes, she's a half-elf, but... Why am I attacking you? I don't care. But... If you look at your other options, you have a Gith. Who, uh... Yikes. Um... You have Karlak. Which, don't get me wrong, Karlak is great. I just see Karlak as more as, like girl bro, you know? Uh. And I can't even remember the other character options past that, so. Alrighty, so for people who are wondering, thank you again for the two, by the way. For people who are wondering what the deal is with, uh, the bow strat. Here you go. We do the right side first. And then we go left side. We're going to stay along the left wall. And once we get over here, we're going to come all the way to where it kind of cuts us off. We're going to stand about here. We're going to be very close to one of her fire sites being able to hit us. That's fine. Should be right in front of us. Yep. And uh, we're just going to fire arrows until we hit it. And now we have the Bed of Chaos Masterclass. Du -du 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 -du. Um, basically, the first branch on your left as you come down, you want to stand... Ooh. We're going to be careful of this firestorm first. Just diagonal of it, about a character and a half space away. And we're going to wait until we see a good opportunity to go in. That's a good one. Whoop. Scythe's hit us there. And we're just going to run off here. And you would be surprised on how consistent that is. Now we're just going to be careful as we come down. If we see a firestorm coming out, all we're going to do is make sure we're at full health and stand still. And it still killed me. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Better Chaos. That's fine. Sometimes that does way less damage. Sometimes that does way more damage. If you're not doing this challenge, hot tip, put on the gold hem set. The fire resistance is absolutely cracked. So just put that on. Other than that, though, this boss is really consistent and easy. It's become, like, the most free boss in any of my runs. That isn't stamina-less or no-walking. Slab. I got very scared for a second there. Dragon Crest is also good, but the problem with Dragon Crest is sometimes uh, it won't contact the shield and it'll just hit you, and then the resistance means nothing. So, let's say that you are on your fresh run here. We'll go ahead and just do this one more time. Nothing on the way down really matters. Once again, we're going to stand about a character and a half away, diagonal of here. And you... Hello, firestorms. I'm predicting scythes. I summon the enemy scythe. Thank you. And there we go. Just as the left hand is swinging, we run across. And she's slapping, so I know I'm good. But typically, you'd want to just be patient there. And there you go. Nice and easy. Later, Drender. Okay, we'll grab that. We'll grab some more endurance. And uh, that is all of base game out of the way. Which means it's time to head to the DLC. And once again, the boss we are most afraid of is Artorius. Although I don't think we'll have that bad of a, of a problem with him this time. The short sword's range might be a little bit of a problem with Artorius, but aside from that, we should be okay. Why do I have so many Discord notifications? Who's messaging me? Ah, I see. I see. I see. There's a, uh... A lot of, a lot of people messaging me. There we go. Are you planning on continuing the run idea across the other Souls games? At the moment, I am. Um, we'll see how long my sanity lasts. If I continue this across the other Souls games, then, I mean, that's at least 20 more streams just for Dark Souls 2 and 3. Not even to mention the 10 options for Elden Ring. That's 10 more. 10 more for Demon Souls and... 
I don't remember how it works for Bloodborne. I think for Bloodborne, you just get the choices between Cane Sword and Switch Axe, or whatever it's called. So probably two runs for Bloodborne there. Even though the axe and sword are probably just viable weapons to beat the game with. I wouldn't know, though. And, uh, Sekiro, that, that just wouldn't work, because you never change out weapons. Saw Cleaver... Saw Cleaver, Axe, and Kane. Gotcha. For the one Sekiro stream. Beyond, what's up? How you doing, King? Dream. Dream, look. Dream, look, it's your favorite Souls tuber. He's here. He comes in the room every time he hears his favorite Souls tuber. Do it again. Damn. That time I'm going to dodge him correctly. And goodbye, Sanctuary Guardian. Dream, mom said it's my turn with the brain cell. All right, who's ready for Artorias? I know I'm not. No, I need it for character work. You know what? I don't feel like kindling this bonfire, so I'm just going to teleport to Firelink and sit down there to get my Estus. Uh, it is Ulysseal Sanctuary. Love the XCOM video. I really appreciate that, BN. By the way, if anybody hasn't seen the XCOM video yet, it was, uh, it was, I put a lot of work into it. I'd appreciate it if you gave it a watch. At least a try. I put a lot of work into it, and y'all have been very, uh, very kind. Oh, yeah, we're only 10 likes away from story time. So, uh, if you want Kyle to tell more either funny or potentially embarrassing stories, only, uh, nine more likes. Last time I told you guys about the, uh, most embarrassing date I ever went on. Who knows what kind of juicy tea you'd get this time. I hate this area so much. Are you going to beat the dragon? Yeah, I'll kill Calamine. Eventually. When we get there. I never spent the Fair Lady's Firekeeper soul, huh? What about T.E. Juice? Isn't that just green tea? Or would Juicy Tea be green tea? Or is Juicy Tea sweet tea?
All right, hi, Chester. No, I've not played Bloodborne yet. Thank you. So long. So long. Did anybody else lose audio there for a second? Or is that just me? I can't tell if there's a delay now or not. Mm. Okay, it's just me? Okay. Alrighty. Hi, Artie. Hmm. Whoops. Hmm, I'll use this time to ask this, why not? Oh, hey, we can uh, be a jerk about his uh, buff in this run. If he tries to buff. Dodge the wrong way. Oh, yeah, we did say this is Ginjo, didn't we? Kind of being a jerk today, I'm not going to lie. Hi, Lemon. I see you in the corner of my eye. No. No buffing. Brother, do you want to stop that? I agree. What did I say about buffing? No. Stop that. No, I'm healing and you can't stop me. What did I just say? You can't stop me. Un... My sword missed? Excuse me? Okay, but wait, chat. I can do something really cool here. I don't know how much damage I deal with the bow yet. If I could hit him. Chat, hear me out. We're going to do something really cool. Okay, never mind. We do way too little damage. Or do we? 
Yeah, we do. No. I was gonna shoot in midair. <laughs> Today I learned you can knock Artie out of buffing with a headshot. Yes, you did. Fun fact. You can also, there is a really easy way to do it with throwing knives. Uh, it actually is one of the reasons why I recommend uh, if you're learning Artorias, just bring throwing knives with you and you can completely negate his ability to, to buff. I speak fat thumb? Huh? Fat thumbs. What's happening? Ah. <laughs> uh, is it because of the bow? I don't get it. Yeah, and lemons are assing me again. Ooh, there we go. Again. <laughs> Oh, was he? Were there typos? Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't even see them. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Why are there? Were there always two right here? I, sw huh? I thought there was just one. Did I just? All right. You know, it's fine. Crest key obtained. Okay, and we go here. Oh, yeah. Ah. What the hell? Did the Caster hit the body and knock it down? Did anybody else see that? Gotta head out. All right. It was good to see you, BN. Thanks for stopping by. Also, if you're not subscribed to BN, go subscribe to BN. BN makes really fun content. You know what? Oh god, never mind. I was gonna be clever. Okay, so I hate running this room. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna have to do this the the long the long version of it. I absolutely despise this room. If I used the bow to what slowly stand there and slowly pick off every enemy I mean yeah we could get out of this room in 10 minutes
It's the best worst option I've got. True. Hi, just sub. Welcome in, Glass. Thank you so much. Oh, oh God. We hit 100 likes. Did we hit 100 likes? Someone verify. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this, and we're going to do this. It's weird that this works as well as it does sometimes, but... All right. My light counter is broken, apparently. But people see 100, I am not going to doubt you. I always die when I do this, by the way, but I think it's fun to fight these guys anyways. There we go. All right, time for the actual, uh, actual hardest room, and then we'll do story time. That was... <sighs> Actual hardest room in the game, by the way. So, uh, fun story time. What have we got? All right. So... I got a fun story. So. It is the. God, was it spring break or summer break? I don't remember. Either way, it was a break from school that was in the first half of the year. I want to say it was spring. Um, and Kyle is going camping with uh, his extended family. So this particular camping trip is heading out to an island off the coast of Florida somewhere um, where my, fa my family used to camp, uh, where my parents used to camp with my grandparents. And for this camping trip, uh, my dad and I are heading out to hang out with the rest of our family. And this entire trip is just an experience to behold so first of all getting out there to get out to the island we needed to get the boat and my grandparents at the time lived in texas with us so we needed to get the boat over to florida so i took a road trip with my grandfather out to florida and we towed the boat the whole way that road trip let me tell you, I don't think enough people thought this through because towing that bow all the way from Texas to the coast of Florida was an experience that probably would have been made better had we thought about how the boat was going to sit on the trailer better. Because the amount of times my grandfather looked back at it and went, I'm afraid the boat is about to fall out of the trailer. And then he would get out and put more duct tape. And he just continually added more duct tape until he entirely taped the boat to the trailer in duct tape. Like, you should have seen it. It was... I remember my dad texting me going, hey, how's it going? And I just texted him a picture of the boat covered in duct tape. And it was, he was just, what is happening? <laughs> so, we're very slowly trying to get the boat. No, we didn't have any rope with us. We had duct tape. Ah, crap. That's death. Damn it. That's the first time I've died to Manus in one of these runs, I think. No, that's not true. I died once in Warrior Run. That's okay. 
So, we're duct taping the boat. We, I don't remember what state we're in at one point. All I remember at one point, we have the boat attached to uh, the, tr the car. And we're going through, we're trying to find a hotel to stop for the night. And as we're, we're going, it starts to get very cloudy very fast. And as it gets very cloudy very fast, we look off to the right. And I can't make this up. We look, look off to the right and we're like, so should we stop at that hotel over there? We look in the other direction and we see a full tornado form. <laughs> we are just watching the funnel cloud reaching down from the sky towards the ground. And I just look at my grandfather. I'm like, I don't think we should stop. I, I think it's, this is the time when we should probably keep driving to get away from that thing. So, we're driving away from... He's like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, we keep driving. It takes us two days to get out to Florida. Normally takes us only one, but we were towing the boat. We get out to Florida. And we're staying at my aunt and my uncle's place for a few days. So, everyone who's going on this camping trip can gather. We finally have the time to go out to go camping. And as a quick preface, dodging. When my grandparents invited us on this trip, they're like, yeah, we have all these old tents we can use. Are you kidding? What is happening today? Why am I dying to Manus? I never die to this boss. Um. So they're telling, they're like, yeah, we've got these old tents we can use and you know, it's, it's going to be fine. It's the old tents we used to camp in. And my dad looks at me and he goes, we are absolutely not camping in those rinky old tents. Like, is that Father Weekend in the chat? That is indeed Father Weekend, Mr. Gamer Dad. So, he's looking at me and he's like, well, there's no way we're doing this. So we go to, it was, I think it was Cabela's. It was either Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop, but I'm pretty sure it was a Cabela's. And we got a brand new tent. Great tent. Love that tent. So, we get out to the island. And the first thing we we're like is, okay, we need to start the campfire because that's how we're going to make dinner tonight. And also, campfires are nice and warm. So, we get to making the campfire. And I'm not making fun of... I'm not making fun of anybody by saying this, but... One of the people we brought was a family friend of ours, and they did bring a uh, their kid who had never been camping before. They were I don't want to I don't want to say this in a way that sounds offensive, but you could definitely tell that they weren't all there, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know what other way to put it, but uh, hopefully that's fine. Um. And when they saw fire, they thought danger, and so their first thought was to run to the beach and fill up a bucket with water and put out the fire we spent, like, a half hour trying to make, and they just dumped a bucket of water on it. So then we had to start over on making the fire. How old were they? They were... That's a good question. I think they were nine. I could be wrong on that. They could have been a little older. Either way, not important. It's just a, a, one of the things that, one of the little things that went wrong in this camping trip. So, 
anybody who's ever been to Florida or lived in Florida, there's a uh, a special little quirk about that state. Anybody who lives in Florida in certain parts of it can uh, confirm this story for me. One of Florida's special quirks is every day at precisely three o'clock, it begins to rain. At precisely three o'clock. Why is are we so far away from the bonfire? So, that was fun to deal with on a camping trip. But the best part of this story refers to, hi Annie. Hello. The best part of this camping story refers back to those lovely tents. Because at one point, about three days into the trip, we're all sitting there, 240 rolls around, and we pull up the, uh... We pull up the weather radar on my grandmother's iPad. And my dad, my uncle, and I are all standing about ankle deep in, in the crystal clear waters down. And we look off in the distance and we see the clouds. And uh, when I say we just see a wall of black, I mean these are the darkest clouds I have ever seen. And we're like, what's the weather radar look like? And if you've ever seen a weather radar, you know that the darker the color means the worse it's going to get. And we just see this red ball on the weather radar coming directly for us. And so we were like, well, guess there's a thunderstorm coming in. Guess we're all going to get in the tents and see what happens. And my dad is like, you know what? You probably want to, because I was staying in like my own little personal tent that my grandparents had brought out. My dad was like, you're going to want to stay in the new tent we just made. Or the one we got. I was like, all right. So I got in the new tent that we just got from Cabela's. But, hi, dog. Um... And the storm begins to hit. Now, in our tent, it was peaceful. We were hearing the sound of thunder, the sound of rain. We were listening to music. I was reading a book. I believe I was reading book three or four of um, the sequel series to Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I think it's the Heroes of Olympus. I was reading... I want to say I was reading the House of Hades at that point. May have been Mark of Athena. Either way, we were sitting there reading our books, having a good time, listening to music. But there were other sounds we were hearing outside. The sounds of screaming and crying as the storm began to rip away everyone's tents. And the rain was putting holes in them as everybody was becoming absolutely drenched and thrown around by a storm and we are just listening to the sounds of screaming and panic as we are just calmly reading our books and it was just all we could think about was yeah, we'll use the old tents. It'll be fine. <laughs> and I can just hear my cousins screaming for dear life in a Florida thunderstorm <laughs> as we are just reading our books perfectly dry. We did not even get a drop of water on us. <laughs> The moral of the story, never go on a camping trip with old tents if you are susceptible to thunderstorms. In fact, probably just don't go camping if thunderstorms are a likely scenario.
And that is the one and only time I have ever been camping. <laughs> Not that I disliked it. I had a great time. Uh... People who say money can't buy happiness have been proven wrong. Uh, you're true. Not even festivals or something similar? Nope. Never been to a summer camp. Moral of the story, don't go to Florida? I wouldn't say that. I love me some Florida fishing. We go out once a year. Typically. I love going fishing. Speaking of fishing, uh, there was a fish that I caught in Texas that I am convinced cursed me and cursed my ability to catch anything for a solid, like, what was it, six, seven years? So, the specifics of this story are a bit fuzzy, simply because it happened so long ago, but I don't remember what led to this. I remember for my grandfather's birthday, uh, he wanted to rent a pontoon boat and just go out on one of the lakes here in Texas. So we were like, okay, sure. And I don't remember how it ended up working out. I just remember that there was a scenario where it was either just me or it was a scenario where I believe just me and my dad had fishing licenses or something like that. Or we were the only ones who could legally fish according to Texas wildlife law on that day. Because that's something I am very careful about. Please obey Fish and Wildlife Services. Anyways, um, that was very close to being a dangerous move. So I was randomly tossing out this tiny rod that I had. Brother, will you stop it with that move? So as we are out there, I'm really the only one fishing because I wanted to because I never really got to fish a lot before that. Also, later, nerd. And as I'm out there fishing, um, I'm not catching anything really for like the whole day. It's been a pretty calm day. Um, and for anyone curious, we were fishing in a freshwater lake in Texas. And randomly, there's a time when um, we were out there fishing, and we toss the line out, and instantly something grabs the line, like hard grabs the line. And as it grabs the line... I realize I've probably been shouting this entire time. I do apologize. Um, as they grab the line, um, I just start trying to pull it in. Whatever on the other end is threatening to break this small rod and the... I want to say it was something like 15-pound test line, Sorry. something like that. Pro like, it was... It was not strong line. Just Gwyn, yeah. And as we're pulling it in, it's like, whatever this thing is, it's... It's fighting. So, finally, it takes us, like, five minutes to reel this thing in. And when we pull it up, if anybody has a wants to make a quick Google search, if you don't know what this fish looks like, what I had reeled in 
was a pretty much fully grown alligator gar. And if you've ever seen an alligator garfish, these things are massive compared to the kind of fish you usually fish for. If you want to look up one, an alligator gar, they get to be really big. And this thing was so big, we tried to get it out of the water to try and just get a picture with it just to see how big it was. Um, yeah, no, they are huge. Um, when we tried to get it out of the water, um, so one, we could take a picture with it, and two, we could safely remove the hook from it because we weren't keeping anything. Um... We physically couldn't. We, we could not get that thing out of the water. Um. So, basically what we had to do was very carefully remove the hook from the fish as we were getting to pull it out. Uh, you know what? I'm just not going to resin. Oh, hey, I actually got that parry. I rarely ever get that. And just for some reason, for years after that, I could not catch a fish. We are not following tradition today. I am not dying to Gwyn. No. Bad Gwyn. I'm dying to win. Ah. Uh, yeah, we, we released it, and I just, for years, could not catch another fish. Just absolutely could not catch another fish. The tradition lives on, indeed. We always die to Gwyn on the first try. Eventually, we broke that tradition uh, one day when I went back fishing on the same lake like I don't even remember how many years later um and we caught I don't even remember what the fish was but um there was something that we were just moving with a trolling motor and just fishing off the back of the boat there was something I caught I still have the picture but man There's a striped bass is what we were catching. Thank you, Dad. Um, but I've got all kinds of... Uh, I'm a person that loves fishing. I love fishing. Not even like... Not even like... I don't know. I have a almost like a fishing bucket list that I have that I want to do where there's all kinds of types of fishing that I want to try and do in my life. Which. Yeah. I really want to go fly fishing. Um, deep sea fishing. Um... go are you telling me that fire works against Lord of Cinder yes yes I do no I was stun locked I was spamming roll that entire time I don't know why Gwyn always ruins these runs <laughs>
I'd also love to go, uh... I'd also love to go fishing for, um... For Marlin at one point. Even if I only ever did it once. Exactly. Burn victims are very vulnerable to fire. And that is why fire works on Gwyn. Why? I feel like I'm very out of breath all of a sudden. Probably all that storytelling. I've been yapping y'all's ears off all of a sudden. Fashion one. Bonk. Story time was nice. I'm glad you think so. But unfortunately, all stories come to an end, even you, Gwyn. Have you played Final Fantasy XIV? I have not. Oh, but you want to know what I have done? Chat. Don't clap for the run. I have 120 Slayer in RuneScape. I achieved 120 Slayer. Which is the highest level you can get anything in RuneScape. I have gotten the absolute highest level you can get Slayer on in RuneScape. Which, I've had all 99s for uh, a year now, but that was, yeah. Alrighty. That's a, that's a 328.31. Alright. I just watched my kitten charge into my closet. I heard a lot of banging, and then I just watched her charge back out of my closet. Whoops. Um, you know, I was a little worried about the short sword. Um, I was a little concerned that it wasn't going to put out, um, quite as much damage. That, uh, damage was going to be a little, uh, lacking this run. But, uh, the scaling on the short sword is really nice. Um, really gets you pretty close to that 400 AR mark. Um, and with the correct resins, this sword does damage. Um, not quite as high as the Wanderer, but I would say Hunter is actually a really good class. Um, this is going to be a struggle for me to rank this one. Like to put this on a on a S A B C D tier list, like where I'd end up putting it. I don't know. That's a this is a tough one. I think the lack of poise. You, you need the wolf ring for any sort of poise. Um, the range on the sword can be a little finicky sometimes. Uh, the bow was really nice for the extra utility. Yeah. Um, I'm also feeling maybe an A or a B. This is a, but I was pleasantly surprised by this. Um, yeah.
Yeah, this might be kind of, this might end up being a bit of a gatekeeper for the S tier, actually. Huh. Either way, though. Um, I gratefully appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. Um, this has been a very fun stream. Very glad to get back to it. Uh, I don't think I have any reason to not be streaming next Friday. So, probably going to have more stream going on next Friday as well. Um... When we get there, let's actually go... Let me queue up new game real quick, and we'll see what class will end up being. It will be... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It'll be the Sorcerer, which I am predicting will be the other hardest class in the game. Between Sorcerer and Thief. That is going to be a battle. I have beaten the game with just that dagger before. But it will be just regular soul arrow and just that dagger with that small leather shield. That's going to be an experience. Thief was good, though. Thief was awful. <laughs> Throwback to Little Poke? Yo, the return of Little Poke. Is it going to be Big Poke? I don't know. We'll see. Either way, though. Um, thank you guys so much for all, all the love and support. If you've not checked out the XCOM video, uh, you know what? I will actually, uh, I'll actually just say, just you give it a shot if you haven't given a shot yet. It is a very, very good, um, video that I tried to make. Actually, why am I saying it's very good? I said I put a lot of work into it. I'm trying to say it's very good. You tell me whether it's very good or not. Um, but the support has been very much appreciated. Um... Yeah. Um, as for the next video that's coming out, um, I'll just let y'all guys know that the next video to come out will be This Is Dark Souls 3. So for everybody who has been waiting for Dark Souls 3, uh, it's coming. Your whole playthrough is coming. And then after that, um, I'm probably going to do a challenge video. It's probably not going to be Demon Souls, uh, just so I have more time to prepare for Demon Souls. I'll probably end up doing another Dark Souls 2 challenge. Um, I'll either be doing bow only, shield only, or, uh, we'll finish the magic series. Um, one of the group. Um, either way, though, uh, that's gonna be it for me here today. If you enjoyed the stream, I'd very much appreciate it if you've hit the like button if you haven't already. I know most of y'all have. Um, I am going to, this isn't necessarily a raid, um, although if you are able to chat there, uh, go ahead and say that I sent you. Go and tell them that Gamers Weekend sent you, GW sent you, either way. Uh, I'm gonna send you all over to Dylan if you need another stream to watch. Uh, Dylan United Gamer is a good stream friend, uh, that I haven't talked to in a while, actually. Um, right now, he is randomizing... He's doing a Nuzlocke of every Pokemon game that is also randomized in a row. So he's doing every single Nuzlocke randomizer in a row. So go ahead and give him some love. Um, it's not a raid, but let him know I said hi if you do head over there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.